Hey guys, really sorry about the lack of updates. I've just been really busy lately and I haven't had time to work on the exoskeleton. But good news, I'm going to make it a goal to try and finish the upper body of the exoskeleton by the end of August. So that means lots of updates, maybe even a few per week. So, let's get making the frame. Picked up some more steel. it in two places, um, use the grinder to open up the notch a bit, and then I'm going to bend it shut and then weld the seam. So then I'll be left with a, a really a wide C shape. And then once I have that C shape, then I can put in the, uh, the uh, webbing to brace the frame off of my back without touching any of the steel so I won't get hurt. So let's give that a shot. So, I'm not going to cut all the way through, I'm just going to cut through the top and the side and leave the bottom untouched. Then I'll be able to bend it a bit and that will give me the nice C shape. Alright, so I've notched the two cross members and I'm just going to have to open up the notch a little bit on angle, so I'll probably just use a regular grinder for that. I'm going to bend it in place and then weld over the seam. Boom! How's that for not using a jig? Mmm, <laughs> iron filings. Now 
the problem with this is uh, I've got to grind off the edge of this so it actually lines up flush. Looks like about 10 degrees. Hmm. Maybe I can actually clamp this in the chop saw and then just cut straight. That might actually work. Let's try it. Now you gotta go really slow with this because you just because of the angle, it's just gonna want to push the blade out. So you gotta start really slowly until it catches and then go down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just tack it in place and then I'm going to bend it a bit and then do the whole weld and put the next one on. So i got to bring the welder over here. Storm's brewing. Down good out there. There's the frame. Next step will be to add the webbing, like on this one. And then for now, I'm just going to steal this webbing and the backpack straps. But later on, I'll make my own nicer ones. But for now, there's the frame. So next update, I'll be making the second arm. And we'll see about actually attaching it onto here using the uh, ball joints I mentioned before. So, keep watching, there'll be more updates soon. Red button. Oh my god, I can't see.